What's up, Internet? Senior will be here, and special video for you guys today. If you watched the What's in the Box video, the episode 2, then this is the finished product of what I was trying to make. So, here's me fucking around with the shell of an original Xbox 360 controller. And I've taken all the buttons off. I've taken the D-pad off, I've taken the thumbsticks off, which, if you can see the thumbsticks over there to the right, they are wore down as fuck. So, those are really old. So, I'm just uh, grabbing pieces, seeing kind of where they go, because I've never done this before. This is uh, my first time I'm trying to figure out why the uh, bumper buttons won't fit in there, and I realize later on it requires that extra piece that you have to press that button to uh, sync it to the Xbox. So, it took me a minute to realize that, but I get that later on. Here's me fucking with the, uh, the thumbsticks. I still, uh, I probably need to go back in and break this thing back open and check out the left thumbstick because I tried playing some Grand Theft Auto with it as soon as I got done. And it was a little unresponsive and it kind of stuck just a little bit when it was going up. That might be the, uh, the thumbstick mechanism itself, so, uh, that might be something I need to replace next. But yeah, a lot of uh, whittling around with all these things. I bought some special screwdrivers just for this. You have to buy a, a special screwdriver just to take the controller apart. But they don't tell you that on the inside of the controller, the D-pad requires like a hobby style, really tiny, like 0.0.1 .0 or something like that fucking Phillips head screwdriver. So I went out, bought a $12 set at Lowe's for just this occasion. They did the trick, so I'll probably keep these because they're nice, they're pretty handy. Uh, and if you notice the cigarette pack over there, I know I've said I've quit before, and I did. This is just something I had laying around in the room, and it was perfect for holding the uh, all the buttons and stuff and those, uh, those rubber pieces that go on the bottom of the button so they connect to the motherboard. I guess you could call that a motherboard. So, it took me a second to figure out how that went perfectly back on there, but here I am uh, slotting all the buttons into place. There's the B, there's the X, and the start buttons, which I uh, eventually realize those are a little dirty, so I, uh, I take those out and go and clean them here at about like four or five minutes in. And this is also sped up 300 times faster because this minute, this video was about 30 minutes long. Ridiculous. So I, I had to speed this up for you. It was way too tedious, even for me to watch. So and that's saying something. And here, they come together, I'm trying to figure out, it's like, what's the best way to do this? And then I have a brain aneurysm, I'm like, oh my god, I just realized something. So I take it out, and I flip it around, and try and put it in... First time I try to put it, I put it in backwards, I'm like, ah oh, shit. And then I flip it over. Stick the uh, vibration, vibrator things in there. Pop it down into place, kind of make sure it's squished in there. And I'm pressing all the buttons, make sure they work. D-pad feels a little funny. Yeah, yeah, it works, it works. So, get that all slotted into place. Try and set it down, that was a bad idea. So, I'll find a better place to set it. As I, well, I keep fucking this stuff first. Let's see. Still trying to figure out those bumper buttons. It took me a second, I was like, something's missing, but I just couldn't figure it out. So I just kind of like left it there. I was like, yeah, that, they, they connect, so that works. So here I am, snapping everything together. There's a big gap there, and I'm like, that's on it. That was never there before. What's this? This is the old bumper buttons. Oh shit, it looks like I'm missing something. So let me just snap this bitch apart. Let's see now. Make sure everything's good. Study it. I'm like, oh, okay. About this time I realize I need the old piece from the original Xbox controller, and it's really dirty. I'm trying to clean it with my hands. Not working. I'm like... Well, if I'm going to go scrub this with a brush, I might as well clean the start and select buttons, too. So I lose a, uh, a thumbstick there, pop that back out of place, pop that back on, and uh, mess with the uh, little rubber pieces, get those out of the way. Pop out the start screws with the screwdriver, or the start 
thing. Yeah, there we go. Pop those out of place. And short break for where I try to uh, go and clean those. I say try, but it actually worked very well. And uh, it's a very pretty controller. I am very satisfied with it. You get to see the finished product uh, here at about seven minutes in, if you want to skip ahead. And I'm snapping everything to place. Put those start buttons back in there. So this is a this is a relatively easy project. Out of uh, building a computer and this, I'd say building a computer is a ten. This is a two. This is not too bad at all. But you got to remember, don't force anything. Don't make it go. If it doesn't want to go, there's a reason, and you need to look at it very closely just to make sure that it's like fit in there proper. So gotta give it. Sometimes a little bit like of a shake to the left and right, let it fall into place perfectly. Things are looking good, it's coming together. And now is when I pull out the uh, the new triggers that I got with the set as well, of the white buttons and thumbsticks, and I'm like, nah, fuck that, that's, that's a little too, too much. Because I couldn't figure out exactly how those came off. Everything else in the controller came off relatively easy except for the d-pad so I was like nah another day these are white enough so I kept those if they had been gray or black or something I would have been like nope nope I gotta change these so but they were white so I left it there everything snaps into place nicely I uh, start grabbing screws and my uh, special screwdriver that I bought off Amazon if I can remember I'll put the link to that screwdriver in the description I'll also put the link to these buttons in the description if you'd like to purchase them as well even though I have to say the screwdriver came it was cheap as hell it was like 60 cents and the shipping was free so I can't like there's no room to complain about that that was great the buttons on the other hand were almost ten dollars and said they came with another screw which I was gonna give to a friend of mine didn't come with the screwdriver I mean they said they were gonna come with a screwdriver my bad but they didn't so that was a pain in the ass, because I was going to give that to somebody and I had to explain to them, Ah, oh, it didn't happen, sorry. So, they were disappointed, I was disappointed. And, uh, you could see in the beginning of the video that bag that I had all everything in, that's what the fucking buttons came in, all the way from China. So, and it was in some town called Gangdong, China. <laughs> so... I, uh, I just let that slide. There's no way I'm going to get my money back from a town called Gangdong, China. There's no way. So here's the glorious moment where I start screwing. I've got everything screwed in. I'm just uh, making sure everything's tight. Reach over here. Back to normal speed now. Pop that battery pack in there. That's actually the original battery pack. It's the only one of the only two I've got out of three controllers. Hey, we got some power. Big smile from me. And yep, that's my video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. And again, my name is Senior Whoopi. Go out there and build a controller.